Ubuntu, 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 known for so many things, the purple and orange colors, its iconic GNOME desktop, its weird circle logo, its funny name, and of course, the fact that it's the most used desktop Linux distribution in the world, at least according to the polls that we have. And because of this, like the majority of Linux users, my first ever exposure to anything GNU slash Linux was installing Ubuntu on some old computer. It was when I was the age of 10 and I installed Ubuntu 16 point whatever it was, that was just the latest LTS release at the time, and it was at that moment that I fell in love with GNU slash Linux. Something about having this terminal that was so deeply integrated in the system, the fact that I could literally just type a command and it would install a program for me, all of that blew my mind. Mostly because I was so used to Windows' way of managing packages where you would have to go to a website and then download a package and install that, I was very surprised by the fact that in Ubuntu you could just type in a little command with the name of the software that you want and it would just install it. However, let me tell you a story about a far more impressive 10 year old who does something much much more than just installing a Linux distribution onto a dead relative's computer. Let me tell you the story of Unity, Ubuntu, Rudra, Sarsawat, that was my best attempt at pronouncing that, and Ubuntu Unity Remix, which is this 10-year-old's attempt to bring back the Unity desktop from the dead. Okay, so back to my story. When I first used Ubuntu at the time, the Unity desktop was all there really was in terms of the default Ubuntu experience. Now, obviously, there were various flavors of Ubuntu, Lubuntu, Zubuntu, and all the other various Ubuntu flavors. They're like little candies, they look a little logo, they look cute. But my first exposure to anything desktop Linux was using the Unity desktop environment. And I'm gonna be honest, I liked it. I know people hated the Unity desktop environment because they came from something like GNOME 2, which looked really weird, but then those people migrated to Ubuntu Mate. So this concept of Ubuntu Unity kind of imprinted on me, to the point that seeing anything else on Ubuntu just seems completely wrong to me. So anyway, I eventually moved to various distributions, trying pretty much everything out. Elementary OS, Deepin, Lubuntu. I even tried installing Arch at some point, and based off the the idea of a 10 year old installing Arch, I bet you can tell how badly that went. And that's what makes Ubuntu Unity that more impressive. So you see, Ubuntu phased out Unity in the 18 point whatever it was release. I am not good at memorizing Ubuntu release names. Mostly because they wanted to switch to GNOME and people just didn't really like Unity. But like with pretty much every change that happens in GNU slash Linux, somebody goes and forks it so they can have things like the way it used to be. And I know for a fact that we're various attempts to bring back the Unity desktop, but this one, Ubuntu Unity Remix, seems the most successful. As I said before, this Ubuntu Remix was created by a 10 year old. I think he may have turned 11 now, but I don't really know. And what's most impressive about this Unity Remix isn't the fact that it's just Unity desktop slapped on top of Ubuntu server, it's the fact that the desktop itself has been remixed to look very modern and nice, and it just kind of looks excellent. I don't know, if you like the Unity desktop, desktop and don't really care about how resource sucking it kind of is, then feel free to download this distro and try it out. Once again, I can't say how impressive it is that a 10 year old created this, while 10 year old me couldn't even figure out how to install Arch. Now I will likely never go back to Ubuntu, it's got a generally high overhead and it's just not what I like in a Linux distribution in terms of how it works. That kind of applies to everything Debian because I enjoy the bleeding edge and rolling release and all of these fancy words. However, if there was Unity desktop like this available on the AUR, then I might reconsider my use of KDE. In all seriousness, I tried this distro off the life environment, and I gotta say, it's quite possibly the best implementation of the Unity desktop I've ever seen. Now I know that's not saying much based off all the complaints from Unity users when it first came out, but it reminded me that Unity is more competent than most desktop environments that I see, and the integration, implementation, just general theming and looks here are amazing, and most of that is on the 10 year old devs part. So thanks for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed me ramble on about Ubuntu, goodbye.